How strong is the left communist movement in Argentina? It's not. Half of the communists in Argentina are literal Peronists. Like, I'll show, holy sh**, I need to show people this. I don't think I've ever gone over this on stream. The biggest communist party is a bunch of Trotskyist wreckers. The second biggest communist party have ah, like, I'm Piran consuming. is like the fifth head of communism and Hugo Chavez on there and sh**. Their website is fantastic. Absolutely incredible. The best thing I've ever seen. We got... Hugo Chavez, Fidel Castro, Che Guevara, Simon Bolivar, Nestor Kirchner, Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner, and this guy who's like a founder of the party, I forget his name. And they're just, they're just Peronists. They're just Kirchnerists. They're like, they're not communists. And the other party is um, the FDT, front of the, of the workers, they're called. And um, they're, they are an electoral Trotskyist party, which... You already, if you have any experience with electoral Trotskyist parties, you already know how that goes. All they do is, is like just vote no on everything. Yeah, it's, there is no Peron. It's a good, I, I am confused they don't have Peron on there. But they do have Kirchners. I mean, if they were like a social democrat party or whatever, just like a, or just like a blanket Latin American nationalist party, you know, that would be fine. That would be an understandable, like Banner. But they, they, they're communists. They're not just communists, they're the extraordinary communists, I'll have you know. I mean, the, the exemplar of Trotskyism in Argentina is there was a, a vote for a wealth tax a couple of years ago, like a tax during an extraordinary wealth tax of 1% of rich people during COVID. And they voted against it because they said like it wasn't enough. Well, okay, but the option is either that or nothing. So nothing, I guess, that, that's what we get. Like, they don't negotiate with the Peronists. They, they don't really do anything to, like, make things better. They just, they're just kind of there. They win votes in some places. And, like, they, they don't know how to wield electoral power in an effective way. They do it in a way that is really detrimental and that is also very bad for their public image. Like, I would have respected them if they, you know, they went to the Peronists and they said, you have to make this, like, 10% better and then you'll get our vote. Something that actually makes the measure better, that leverages their electoral power in a way that make something better instead they just voted against it to like grandstand and basically ended up whether they wanted to do it or not siding with a, like fucking sergio aguero and other rich people who just want to keep their fucking millions of dollars how much influence do they have they have like maybe five to ten seats on the national level which is pretty they're probably the third biggest group but the two biggest groups are both big coalitions so not really comparable like they're one party and they're against two big coalitions kun aguero is uh libertarian like melee ass piece of shit all he does is complain about taxes like you go to his stream and he's just like man i can't believe they're taxing me so much on my 100 million dollars i have in the bank and he was also a full kit wanker in the world cup final like maradona living in a fucking mansion and shit he never complained about taxes he just paid his i mean he probably avoided them he at least never complained about them it's better if anything he advocated for them maradona's last instagram post ever before he died his last instagram post was supporting that exact measure that rich fucks like Aguero advocated against. They turned his Instagram into like a memorial, so I'm gonna t it didn't take me a second to find it. I genuinely think they might have deleted it. Like the people who took over his account might have deleted it because I'm not finding it. Well, there's, there's news articles about it, but I think it might have been deleted. So you fucking mattered on a rich ass fucking footballer can advocate for a wealth tax. I have no fucking respect for people like Aguero who just become libertarians because they have to pay a little bit more on their fucking $10 million they got in the bank. Give me a fucking break. It was a 2% tax on like people who had like $2 million plus in the bank. Give me a fucking break. You can deal with that. And I cannot fucking believe they deleted it. They did delete it. It's gone. It was removed. I, I didn't even know that happened. But that's two completely different mentalities. You know, there's one person who's rich and actively advocates for their own interests and against the, the interests of the majority. And there's an, another person who is rich and does the opposite of that. Two very different people. I cannot fucking believe they deleted that. That's disgusting. Pieces of shit who took over his account, turned into a fucking brand, making money off his image. And they deleted like something that he said to help normal people. But yeah, that's my assessment of the Argentine communists and shit. They suck. I am part of the Argentine Trotskyist party. I agree we can do better. I think what they can do better, above all, is actually negotiate more with the Peronists because they don't like to do that very much. Get some concessions from them at least rather than just blanket opposing everything they do. Try to make what they do better because otherwise you're not really changing anything. You're always going to be a marginal party but there are going to be cases where they need your votes to pass something and in that case you can say well you need to change this and this and this and this or oh, we're not voting and they have to. It's like basic electoral strategy but they more often than not just oppose it instead but i don't really ex i mean trotskyists are the same in every country they were the same in australia too like if you're going to have an electoral party you should at least try to wield whatever little power that gives you effectively because it does give you some power
not much. There's going to be cases where you can't do anything, but there are going to be some limited cases where you can make something a bit better. And you should take those opportunities rather than just like voting against it on principle ah, like they did with the fucking I'm consuming. Wealth tax.